One tapper, Richter incoming. They got a Gideon too. Lamau picking Gideon against Richter. Imagine. All right, let's see. One tapper build. Uh, well, I'm starting power. Let's see. Let's plan out the build a little bit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go combustion for sure. I'm gonna need a caustica. I'll probably go combustion right leggings caustica. Uh, oh crown. Spellbreaker. That sounds like that sounds like a gamer build right there. That sounds like a gamer build. Let's see. Do I still start with my E? I don't think so. I think I start with my Q. Well, the E door is more damage, but it's a longer cooldown. It's probably worth it, actually, to go the E first. Because I hit level 2 off... Well, I hit level 2 off of one buff, right? Yeah, I don't know. I actually have no idea what's best. Fire Blossom be good. If you were going to go like a, like a normal build, yes, I'd build Fire Blossom Mooslin. Jedi with a gifted to shizzle. Thank you, Jedi. Thank you. Uh, for this build, Mooslin, I'm not gonna go Fire Blossom because uh, I don't, I don't really want it. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go for for full power. Otherwise, like if I was building so like solo lane Richter, Fire Blossom's really good. Look at me, I'm kiting camps. Look at me, dude. Wangle makes fun of me all the time for not kiting jungle camps. I think it's so funny. He's like, bro, I swear to god, if you stop if you don't if you don't kite those jungle camps, bro, you're gonna die to um. I will not though. I, have, I think I have yet to die to jungle camps in this game. I die to camps all the time in, in Smite, but I don't think I've done it in, in uh, Pred yet. One point of health can win a fight. That is true. However... No, dude. I just win fights too cleanly anyway. I don't need the extra HP. Who do you think I am? Surely won't die to camps, dude. I'm not I'm not planning on starting now, okay? Okay, I kind of am like full health on Richter after clearing all those camps. I feel like most other junglers, I'm not full health at this point. Damn it, bro! I was trying. I was trying to predict it. Your power grows. I'm gonna max the hook this game. I think the silence is better to max, but I'm gonna try it. Tower is under attack. Okay, I need a thousand to back. They don't know I'm here. Okay, Narbash, you want to walk up and thunk someone? Narbash, thunk. Thunk, Narbash. Not like that, dude. I did not. Okay, Sparrow got him. That was scuffed as hell. That was super scuffed. All good. You pop this game. Dude, this might be a YouTuber game. Who knows? I do think I have one Richter jungle game on YouTube already. But this could be this could be a good one. We're off to a good start. 001, we got the Diffusal Cane online. So we're hitting kind of hard. 
Our sparrow's dead. I think I'm. I think I still have to max the Q first, because if I if I max the right click, my jungle clear is horrible. I think I still need to max the Q. Don't worry about it, Cigna. All good, man. I'm gonna ward this. I'll hold on to hook it for a sec. Trying to body block him, it's working. Fuck, bro. Gideon's here. Okay, they killed him. Gideon's here. And Fang Mao is here. Okay, their whole team is here. That stinks. Kind of my bad. I did not realize that their entire team was rotating. Should have been paying attention. I, I'm doing my best for you, Cigna. Barrow trolling? Nah, she's good. I, I was in before her. I was I was in a wide a ways before her. I go help this guy. I'm gonna ping him, so hopefully he sees that I'm coming. Ally tower under attack. I just missed my silence. Damn. Okay. Okay, I just need to keep clearing. I need to I need to get my ultimate online. Not having it is kind of killing me. I just don't. I cannot one tap people without the ultimate. That hook hits so hard, dude. I have no idea why. I don't know why they were just like, what if hook was the hardest hitting ability in the game? It just it it does so much damage. They're on this. I, I can't really solo contest this. I need my Narbash to walk in with me. We're on a ward. We know it. We saw it got placed. There's four people here and I don't have ult yet. It's a huge stun. We're going to get executed. Okay. They're not on it. My Gideon doesn't have ultimate though. Gideon without ult just means we can't we can't rely on him to hit a fatty ult and win a fight. Bang Mao's pretty low. I don't I think they're gonna have to back off. Their solo lane is here. That's bad. <laughs> that one that one's not awesome. I'm gonna put another ward in there. Just so that we, just so that we know now for sure. my creeps back, Narbash. The hardest skill shot? I mean, yeah, but still. I mean, like, it's a it's a heavy... Like, the, the equivalent ability in Smite... Okay. I have no idea why Grux just took my red buff. I have no idea why he just took my red buff. That's super, that's super L. It's a lot, that's a lot of XP I'm missing. Okay, I guess it won him that fight. But still. The, the equivalent ability in Smite is Sylvanas pull, which does zero damage. <laughs> it does not do damage. Blitz hook. I don't know. I I know who Blitz is, but I don't know what his like. Does his hook do damage? Because uh, like Sylvanas pull doesn't do damage. 
needed to be at Fang anyways. I was 10 steps away from red when you took it, dude. I don't need to be at Fang when they're not there. I was 10 steps away from red, and this guy took it. He, he said you needed to be at red, is what he said. Blitzhook is the same, like where it's super high damage. I kind of just ate a lot of damage from that, but I need my combustion, so I'm going to back. Okay, I need five more creeps to level this, so my blue and my back camp will give me my upgraded hunts. Going an interesting build. Oh, my Gideon's getting... going to get ganked. Coming out for Xbox, no one knows, Wix. No one knows. Your I'm gonna smite this early so that it's back up for uh, Fang Tooth. Yeah, the, I don't know why he took my red. That like I I get the the reasoning, and if he took my back camp over there, like the the white camp, that's that's fine. I don't care about that back camp. He can have that all game long if he really wants to. I do care about the red buff. Gideon's backing. I'm gonna take this wave. Okay. Their Grux is here again, and my Grux still hasn't left his lane. That shit was impressive. Thank you, Silky. It was crazy this morning. 70 CS. It's uh, it's 40 creep. It's 40 jungle creeps killed. It's not equivalent to CS. But their Fang Mao doesn't have his upgraded, which means if they if they commit to the Fang Tooth here, then we should just kind of win this fight. like that <laughs> oh fuck that was bad I someone was behind me pinging me down yeah Grux not being here is kind of an L we got the fang tooth because I have my hunt upgraded again that's one thing you guys can do as a jungler especially kind of a low pressure early game jungler like Richter if you farm hard and get and get your hunt upgraded, you can force that fight on Fang Tooth and win. And when you when you really probably shouldn't get the first Fang Tooth, like Richter probably shouldn't get the first Fang Tooth over Fang Mao, but because I'm farming hard, clearing my shit, I get it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight into Wraith leggings actually. I'd maybe normally build a, an item in there, but I'm just going to go into it. They tracked it with Crest Progress. Yeah, if you hold left control, Lambly, you can see it on the left side. You can see your, uh, your hunt progress. So you can see mine says hunt times 40. That's how many I've killed. So it's it stops at 40, but... Yeah. I figured I only figured that one out pretty like kind of recently, so. It's it, yeah, it's it is good to know you can see it, it how close you are. That game that was kind of slow. If I'm playing a good clearing jungler, like if I'm playing a Fang Mao or a Grux, I've been I've been pretty consistently getting my hunt fully stacked at about eight nine minutes. This game was kind of slow. We were fighting a lot to start. But like eight, nine minutes, you can get that hunt stacked up. And if the other jungler isn't on top of theirs, you're going to be able to kind of force that first Fang Tooth and win. Enemy tower under siege. Okay. They know I'm behind them now. I'm going to see if I can just play cutoff man to this Fang Mao.
Okay. Okay. He ran in a straight line away from me. You saw my hook to hit him for like 600 damage. Okay, it's not 600. Feels like 600. Hit him for a lot more than it probably should. Yeah, dude, my lies, Lena. Those are all my lies. I don't have ult here. Dude, look at that damage, though. <laughs> That's crazy with combustion. Holy shit. Okay, my sparrow's back, so I'm not going to take that. With combustion, that's crazy, damn. This might okay. This might be this might be better than I thought it was. Four hundred with combustion, five hundred without combustion on my right click. And we're getting obelisk stacks up in here. We're on. We're get. We're getting to something. This this is this could be this could be the next thing, dude. Okay, they're fighting a lot, but Fangtooth isn't up. I'm not even gonna bother walking over there. Like if Gideon can get some kills, that'd be sweet, but Fangtooth isn't up. I need to keep farming. Trying to keep the obelisk stacks going. It's hard. I gotta like remind myself to stack obelisk. Content, you're welcome. I appreciate it, Jedi. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this obelisk stack. You see me? I think he might have seen me. I, I I don't know. He popped up on my map for a second, so I might have made it through the fog wall. Oh, that would have been cool. Like I do some pretty nice damage, even to these to these tanky creeps. Let's see what are we we need another 50 gold for wraith leggings he should yeah he's got his upgraded now he went nightfall first item is very interesting sparrows here i'm just gonna start this we have no eyes on fang now that's kind of the the scary part here there he is okay he's in decker oh decker left my fucking narbash just Bet his brains out to to kill the a okay that sparrow 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 walk up bro spare someone walk forward dude i can't tank this that long bro what are you guys sparrow if you guys are playing carry does she have lifesteal yeah she has lifesteal if you guys are playing carry and your jungler starts dying to a buff it only targets whoever's closest like walk forwards guys walk forwards Okay, not even close, dude. I ain't dying to buffs. Uh, let's see. Do I go straight into Caustica? Probably. I think I will. I think I could go Oblivion Crown next, and that would be good. I don't know. It, it's really expensive, Oblivion Crown is. So we'll see how much gold I end up with next time I back. Rux does not have magical defense, but I kind of don't think I can kill him. I think he's gonna. I think he's going to do a lot of damage to me when I walk in here. I'm gonna try and make him take creeps. Ah, that's his blink. Right, the green creeps, bro. No. Mega Cosm? No, I don't think so. I want, I want a like a mega high power build. So I think I'm gonna go like Oblivion Crown and Spellbreaker and Caustica. 
The flat pen build's OP. I'm gonna be able to one-shot everyone on their team, and the Decker won't be super tanky, because she's a Decker. How's it going, Dash? Oh, dude. He better not be doing my blue. Bang Mao, get back here. No, he just did, he did my blue. Bitch. Flat pen builds need a nerf. Uh, yes, the mid, the mid lane build specifically. I don't mind it as much out of the jungle because the items aren't as crazy statted as they are in mid. But for mid, it's the, the flat pen items are crazy. Like, the, the jungle has a lot of options for flat pen, but a lot of them give less flat pen in one item. Whereas the mid ones are like 10 and 15. I just whiffed. Don't look. Don't look. There were five people there. That's very nice. Like, Rux is a split pushing mad lad, apparently. Look at them ice scorns for the for the phoenix. Fly back to school. Where do you go to school, Dash? Do you go to school somewhere cool or like somewhere lame? Oh, dude, Gideon fat ult though. Washington greasy. An enemy inhibitor is I think that combustion wraith leggings, these two items, it like I, I also have eight pen from obelisk, right? So I have 33 flat pen. I have 40 ar magic armor right now, naturally. Like, bro, I'm literally hitting people for true damage. And I'm a tank, right? So like squishies probably have a little less. I'm hitting people for actual true damage with magic damage. Why well, greasy? I don't know, man. Just is. Rex didn't ult for inhib. I guess not. He didn't get it. He did not get the uh, the inhib. That someone might be uh, be here to clear these. Why is Pen good against Squishies? Because Flat Pen is good against Squishies because they don't have very much defense. So I have 33 Flat Pen, and if uh, I'm hitting someone with 40 magic defense, I'm ignoring 33 of it. They have seven magic defense. Or the uh, the rough estimates on that, right? 40 magic defense is reducing the damage you take by like, I don't know exactly. Uh, like. 30%, 40% if you have 50 defense. If you ignore 30 of that and bring them down to 20 defense, they're now only that they're now taking all of that damage. Fuck. It's kind of bad. I'm gonna blink away. <laughs> okay, we got an inhib, guys. I hit him with it. My Grux actually hasn't left his lane. Actually has not left his lane. The enemy core is under attack. Uh yes, Dash. I'm a I'm a phase supporter. Yeah, so defense, if you have 50 defense, you're reducing damage taken by like a like something like 33%, right? Or 50 or yeah, like 33%. If you ignore 30 of that and bring them down to 20 defense, they're now only reducing damage taken by like, I don't know, 15%, 12%. It's a, it's a crazy difference. It's a crazy difference. So, yeah, like that's flat. That's why flat pen is good. 
because otherwise to get a you're, right you're you're essentially increasing the damage you're dealing by 12 per like 12 15 20 percent based on your flat pen and to do that with magic power you would need to gain like a thousand magic power to increase your damage that much it's like you would need a crazy amount of magic power to make up for the amount of damage that you're able to do against tanks pen would be uh it dip against tanks so you flat pen starts losing value right when you have lots of lots of defense because 30 flat pen against someone with 200 defense doesn't doesn't get as much value but that's where caustica comes in caustica gives you 40 percent pen so then you get to ignore 40 percent of their armor before you get to uh your your flat pen so then if they have 200 you're ignoring 40 percent is 80 so then they're down to 120 and then you have 30 flat pen it's penetration is very good you need penetration in all of your builds this game the enemy team's pretty squishy fang mao's going full damage the uh enemy grux doesn't have magic defense the rest of their team is squishy if you're playing a team that's like richter sev uh grux you know that kind of thing you're gonna need caustica because otherwise you will not do damage to those guys if they build defense just won't happen No, dude, phase is, phase is sick. And she's hot. I mean, uh, she has the best kit. I'm gonna grab Oblivion Crown. She was greasy. I like the pull. As long as they don't give her a point-click lock-on pull again, like Overprime did. As long as they don't do that, then I think she'll be cool. Okay, I have a 450 power on on uh, four items right now because of obelisk. And she's hot. I don't, dude. I don't. I don't think I said that. I don't know where you're getting that one from. Fuck. I kind of need to hit that hook for the burst damage. I can definitely one tap someone, but I need I do need to hit a hook. Oh shit. Fuck, bro. That Grux does a lot of damage. With three items, by the way. Ouch. Twenty-two Bellica drones, is that what it got up to, Dash? kind of crazy phoenix op phoenix is kind of op why does this item have 30 power on it see i think it's the only 30 power starter item unless you stack an obelisk why is fangma doing zero damage to this guy is a lock shawl interesting gideon build uh I just realized this. He went Lockshaw to increase the True Silver bracelet. Interesting. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's probably the the best way to do it. That's the that's a like an actual someone else's build. I if if Leviathan was a better item, I could see it, bro. Leviathan's just such a doggy doo doo item that I I just wouldn't build it. Period. Even on a build like that, I, I don't think it's good enough. It's such a doggy item. Oh, we get over 700. You can ask Jedi about that one, bro. That's Jedi's doing.
There he is. I thought he was here. I'm like, what the fuck? Where'd their Gideon go? Found him. He does do damage, but it's super late game. Again, like Mega Cosm and World Breaker is all of your damage in this build. I'm assuming this isn't like an Oblivion Crown or a Caustica. Um, this is all your damage in this build. I can see why, but into a team comp like theirs, you don't need it. They, like they have Decker stun. If you're in the air, Decker stun is the only thing that can actually cancel your ultimate. Like you do not need to go into a true silver bracelet. I, I've been trying to tell people this, bro. Just ult better as Gideon, okay? You don't need true silver bracelet every game, okay? You need to plan your ultimates better. I can one tap this Murdoch and I really want to try. Fuck, bro. I got stunned out for that whole fight. My team was behind me and I was and I kind of needed them with me. That's a decent Gideon ultimate. I I got stunned out. I I, I would have hooked it instantly, but I got stunned out. What's true silver? True silver gives you uh, CC immunity when you ult. Uh, it gives you a shield based on bonus health when you ult. And as long as you have the shield, you're CC immune. So on Gideon, it makes it so that you can not be CC'd out of your ultimate, right? I just don't think it's that. It's the, the shield is based on bonus health. And it, unless you're going a build like the Dirty Bubble build, which I would recommend against tankier teams... Uh, unless you're going a build like that, it's just the shield is like 10 health. It's like a 10 health shield, and as soon as it breaks, they're just gonna CC you anyway. I don't think the item is that good. I would, and it gives you 25 power. Like a lot of the time, if you just have more power, you can just kill people before they can uh, before they can stop you from ulting. I I just don't think. I don't think it's that I don't think it's that good on, on Gideon. I think it's situational and some people think it's an every game item. I don't think it's an every game item. Okay, twenty percent bonus damage. We have a fang tooth. Okay, I just hit for almost a thousand on those on those creeps with combustion. My hook right now is gonna hit for like over it's gonna hit for like 1200 damage if i can hook someone with prime does this guy have defense no he doesn't he have eight he has hp but not defense on the uh fang mao they've got a bunch of spell bubbles now so i'm, I'm looking for murdoch and fang mao honestly for hooks no idea where grux is there he is i don't want to hit these creeps because i want to save my combustion actually Okay, let's see. If I can, like, hook Obelisk someone, they're probably dead. What does Grux have? Uh, he's kind of... He has a lot of health. Shit, I wanted the Fang Mao. I don't want to kill the core yet. Oh shit, dude, huge ult. My kills. <laughs> dude, that just hit for 1100. That hook without combustion hit for 1100 on that Gideon, dude. 1100. Okay, this character might be broken. Might be broken in the jungle, I'm not gonna lie. That, that might be actually, that might be playable. That might be actually playable.